Welcome students. Today we are discussing the first chapter of the science book of class 3. The name of the chapter is Food and Feeding Habits of Animals. So, like us, animals also need food for their growth and energy. But they cannot prepare their food by themselves. So, they depend on plants or other animals for their food, right? Let us put the animals into groups according to their feeding habits. First is herbivorous. Cow, goat, giraffe, monkey and elephant eat small plants or other parts of a tree. Such animals are called herbivorous animals or plant eating animals. Next is carnivorous. Animals like lions, leopard and tigers eat the flesh of other animals. Such animals which only eat other animals are called carnivorous or flesh eating animals. Next is omnivorous. Animals like bear, crow, rat, they eat both animals and plants. Such animals are called omnivorous animals. We humans are also eat both plants and flesh of other animals. So, we are also omnivorous. Now, many of us have pet animals, right? They live with us, give us company. Also, some of us have cows, goats, sheep, hens in their home. They help us in many ways. Like, cow gives us milk, hens give us eggs. They are called domestic animals. Now, animals living in the wild like tiger, lion, can take care of themselves, right? But the domestic animals or our pet animals which live with us need our help and care. So we have to feed them properly. We should love them, right? We can keep them happy and disease free by giving them care and lots of love. Different animals eat different types of food. But why so? Actually, the kind of food they eat depends upon the shape of their mouth, jaws and teeth. There are some animals like rabbit, squirrel and rat have sharp front chisel like teeth. With these teeth, they can bite even hard and rough food grains nuts and other things they actually know their food so they are called knowers some animals swallow their food for example frog lizards and snake do not use teeth to bite or chew their food frogs and lizard catch their prey with the help of a sticky tongue the snake can open its mouth very wide to swallow its prey. Do you know a snake can eat animals which are bigger than them in size? Some animals like lion, dog, cat, fox tear the flesh with their sharp pointed front teeth and then chew it with their grindling teeth. Animals like cow, buffalo and camel chew the cud. That means they first nibble their food and put it inside their bodies. When they relax, they bring back part of the fruit from inside into their mouth and then chew it properly. 
they have very strong and broad back teeth which help them in chewing some animals suck their food insect like butterfly mosquitoes have long hollow tube like structure this this helps them to suck their food into their mouth butterfly bees suck nectar from flowers and we all know that mosquitoes suck blood right now leech is a worm like insect which feeds by attaching itself to some other animal and suck its blood now we all know that a deer eats grass and a lion eats deer so they form a chain and this chain is called food chain similarly rat eats grains snake eats rat and eagle eats snake so they form a food chain we can also see that a food chain always begins with a plant because they make their own food so we can say that all animals depend on plants directly or indirectly for their food even we also depend on plants right students so we have to save trees to save life right that's all for today thank you be safe